Hello guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be answering the questions. I did a shout out for questions for a Q&A on my Instagram. It's about a week ago now. And I got, I think, 18 questions, although I think some might be the same. So I've just had a shower. I'm going to the gym after this. And I did think to myself, put some makeup on before you do any filming and dry your hair and, you know, be more presentable. And I just thought, no, because this is what I'm like during the day anyway. You guys will know I'm not really big on putting makeup on. Like, I like to be as natural as possible. So this is what you've got. <laughs> so... The Wilson Nest said, are you still following a plant-based diet? What's your fave meal? So I'm vegetarian. I managed to do a good few months on a plant-based diet. And then is when we went to Jamaica last summer, it was really difficult to eat a good meal that was vegan. If I said, oh, can I have a veggie curry? It would always be, we don't have any vegetables. Like it, it just, it was very difficult while I was there and I would have just been living on chips. So I did end up having more dairy things. Um, but at the moment, I am vegan when I'm at home. The majority of the time, if I eat out, I'll always go for like a vegan, if I'm getting like a sandwich from the co-op, it will be a vegan one. If I eat out at a restaurant, I'll always go for a vegan meal. But it's just like, if I go to a friend's for a cup of tea and they haven't got soy milk or oat milk or any other alternative, I'll have cow's milk. Or if someone makes me a sandwich and they don't have a dairy-free alternative, to butter then I'll have the butter they've got but at home I do have all the alternatives and yeah I'd say I'm like 95% plant-based with what I have and then yeah the rest is vegetarian. Um, my favourite meal would be, do you know what I love carbs? I would probably say like a pasta, a pesto pasta. Jill Parthshire, hi could you suggest how to control hair fall? Okay, so I, to be honest, I don't know if I have a normal amount of hair fall or not because I, nine times out of ten, have my hair up in a bun and because it is wavy and I'm trying to get the curls back, I don't brush it very often. So quite often it would have just been up in a bun or just not brushed for days and then when I do I get so much hair fall or when I wash it, which is once a week, but I think that is just a normal amount. It's just the fact that it hasn't had a chance to fall out kind of throughout the week. I'm sure there are like different vitamins and supplements that you can take and diet as well, like certain things that you can implement into your diet. I'm sure isn't fish meant to be really good, like having omega-3, I'm pretty sure that's meant to be good for hair loss, I'm not sure though. But yeah, I would just say like, try not to use too much heat on it and too many products and um, yeah, just try and stick to something nice and natural and keep it really simple with your routine, I guess. And using a scalp massager as well. I think that's a good one because then it stimulates the hair follicles. Um, but I can leave a link below to my Tropic Skincare products and scalp massager because it's all natural, all vegan, and the scalp massager is just, it's heavenly. Scottish Jenny, hope you're feeling good and that long distance co-parenting is going okay. Thank you, yeah it is, it just works. Um, the boy's dad used to work away a lot anyway, so even when we were together and not co-parenting, I was on my own a lot with the boys. So yeah, it's fine. Just, he was actually home last week for a week to see the boys. And it was really, really lovely to be able to share some school runs. And for me just to have that time to like nip to the shops or go to the gym at a time that isn't when I can put Jensen in the crash or when he's at nursery. So it was lovely to have that and to co-parent normally for a week. But yeah, it, I just think we're so used to it now that it's fine. I'm just used to doing what I do and I've had to learn to take care of myself a lot better, like mentally. Um, so that I don't put too much pressure on myself because I used to suffer with migraines, touch what I won't now, from getting too stressed because I'm just trying to do everything. But yeah, I've just had to learn to kind of let go of things and just focus on what's important. But yeah, thank you, I'm doing really well. And the boys, I think that's the most important ones, um, yeah, they're, they're absolutely fine. Like they're so resilient at that age and they FaceTime their dad every day. So yeah, it works. La Sweetman. Sorry you're too personal, but how's your relationship with Pete and do you ever get to see Reese? Um, my relationship with Pete is really good. We're just, we're co-parenting really well, we're getting on really well. We're kind of at a stage where we're like really good friends, which is lovely because I think when someone's been in your life for so long, it's like you want that, don't you? You don't want to just cut someone out and when you've got kids together, you can't. So our ideal situation was always that we would be like as close as possible whatever the outcome would be so yeah it's nice it's nice at the moment oh and Reese, yeah i got to see him when pete was home last week so that was lovely danielle pete do the boys still see their half brother yes so they saw him when pete was home last week um, and when he was home before that um and me and their mum get on really well and we have said like oh if you ever want to meet up then 
we can. So yeah, I'm sure we will do that at some point. Um, AJ Tennis underscore agility for ability when are you having a tennis lesson? Soon, I would really like to, I think. Maybe when Jensen starts going to nursery or like play school three times a week, then I'll have time to do it. Jolie Williams, what made you start eating eggs again? I think I went for brunch and there was, is it eggs Florentine that's got the wilted spinach on? And I just really, really craved it. So now I do have eggs every so often, yeah, when I crave it, but it's not, I probably don't even have it once a week, just every so often. Lucia MCLXX, how did it go when Pete was over? It was great, it was really, really good. Yeah, we got on really well, which was lovely. SW into the apes, just to say, I'm so pleased to see you regaining your happiness. Thank you so much. I do feel really, really just in a good place, which is wonderful. Scarlett McLeod, how's co-parenting life treating you all as a family? I feel like there's a bit of a theme <laughs> with these questions. Um, yeah, it's good. It's, I can't complain. I am probably in a very good position in that I get to have my boys all the time. So I don't know how it would be like if and when Pete moves back, if I then had to share like every other weekend and stuff. I think I may struggle then, but then it's just an adjustment because obviously there are then downsides to me parenting all the time in that the pressure's all on me, which is why I do make time for like spa days and my PT sessions. I really take care of myself because I think I haven't got anyone here to fall back on. Obviously I've got family and friends, but um, in like a parenting capacity. Uh, Roxy Lehman one, how's the new house? It's brilliant, I absolutely love it. The boys are so settled, they've made friends with the neighbours' children, the location's perfect, like we can walk to so many things and family members and yeah, we just feel so settled. It's all white walls, wooden floors, so we didn't have to decorate and yeah, it's just nice and light and I love it, I really love it. Um, being Lydia, did you have curly hair as a kid or did it change after pregnancy? No, I had like long blonde straight hair. I, I don't know, maybe I've been a little bit curly when I was like one or two and then it was just long blonde and then when I was about six or seven I think it went dark and it started to get thick and like this, I mean, at the moment this is just kind of like a bit of a wave but sometimes it just go really really curly. But yeah, so I guess maybe more so after pregnancy but then because of like heat damage and stuff. It's then not as curly as it probably would be naturally. Sarah I917, any more babies? Are you dating? Love following you. Thank you. I would never say never to more babies. I am so content and happy with my two boys. If someone said to me now, you're not gonna have any more, I think I would be gutted that if it was like a decision that was taken away from me. But at the same time, I am so content and I am starting to get my life back and my body back and and stuff. But at the same time, I would probably go on and have like one or two more. <laughs> um, and no, I'm not dating. I have not been on a single date. Uh, living a grateful kid-filled life. What is your favourite self-care? P.S. Thank you for sharing parts of your life with us. Oh, you're welcome. Um, honestly, I feel like it's therapy more for me than like I, I do it to help others but I also feel like it really helps me because it's like my way of venting. What was the question? Oh, favourite self-care, skincare. Oh, I don't know, fitness, eating healthily, stretching, and skincare. Just everything, I just love kind of nourishing my body from within and my skin and my mind and yeah, but I love like a good skincare routine in the morning. I'm putting my oils on at night time. Um, Sarah Bar 21, why did you decide to stop being vegan? Um, so it wasn't like a conscious decision that I just thought I wasn't going to be one, but there were just situations where it was difficult or I had cravings and it, it was never like a, this is it, I'm vegan, I'm never going to eat meat or dairy or eggs or anything else again. I just felt like this is what's working for me now. It feels amazing, like what I'm doing to my body at the moment is working well. Another reason that I stopped having dairy in the beginning is because of my migraines. That was another reason why I got a lot of migraines. So it was quite an easy decision not to have it, especially because the alternatives are so lovely. I don't know, I just thought I, I was never really strict with it anyway and this is just what works for me at the moment. If I could be vegan all the time, I definitely would because for the planet, for animals, for my health and everything. But then I think like, I don't smoke, I don't really drink. I'm generally, generally a very healthy person. So I think if I have the odd bit of egg and dairy for my health, then it's not a problem. For things like the environment and animal cruelty and things like that, then yeah, I do have that conflicting like self 
opinion I don't know if that's the right way but um but yeah I just I don't want to put that pressure on myself home on Edisai Drive are you dating slash open to dating I'm not dating but at the moment I've got the boys all the time it's not like I've got every other weekend to go on dates and for me to ask my mum or anyone else to watch the boys for me to go on a date they would have to be pretty special it's it's just not priority at the moment like I am my tropic business is growing so quickly and I'm so passionate about it and my channel mum stuff and I love just being with the boys and being able to do a good bedtime routine with them and then sit at my desk work for an hour, watch Love Island, maybe do another little bit of work and go to bed, have a good night's sleep so I can be the best I can for the boys the next day. And yeah, part of me is a bit like, I don't know if I would have the time or the energy to put into something that isn't a priority. Like I'm not massively lonely or massively like, that's just not what I particularly want at the moment. So I think I would find it hard to put the time and effort into it. But you know, never say never. I think if someone came along that swept me off my feet then I would consider it. Norad, Norad, best tips on getting over a breakup and start to enjoy being alone. Um, so it took me a long time to enjoy being on my own. But I would just say fill your time with things that you love to do. So I do so much self-care, I exercise, I stretch, I meditate, I listen to podcasts, I listen to really uplifting music, I do my skincare, I have baths, I work. So around the time when my divorce was like at its peak, I just felt desperate to like shift my focus and that's why I started my Tropic skincare business and I think it was that driving force of like desperately wanting to just be happy again and I don't know like keep building our future like me and my boys it really really helped me to grow that so I just think have a hobby or start up a side business and um, learn a new language like anything like that just try and shift your focus and I went to therapy as well which really really helped I don't do it anymore because it was expensive <laughs> but yeah I found that really helped because I learned a lot about myself like it's not it wasn't even necessarily about my divorce it was about my issues and my insecurities and that really helped so just find out about yourself learn about yourself and reinvent yourself as well this is your chance to have a new amazing life and recreate something completely new but it is hard and you've got to allow yourself to be sad and be down. And I used to hate it because people would say like, just embrace it, embrace the negative feelings. And I'm like, but they hurt. Like, why, why would I want to be like, you know when you feel that heartbreak, like that gut wrenching, like when you wake up and for a second you think everything's okay and then it hits you and you've just got this dark cloud. Like I had that for months and it was horrendous because I didn't want to stay in bed because I knew I'd keep feeling like that but I also didn't I didn't have that get up and go to get up and get my boys ready for school and be happy and exciting for them and it was just torture I was torturing myself like in my mind but I had to go through it and it, it will pass and you will feel better and you will see that there's life without them and yeah oh it's hard it's really hard though Laura P, are you still vegan? No, not strictly. See as much as I can. I am. Maxine Taylor, are you dating or do you feel ready to start yet? So I've answered that one. And the last one, Amber Mountford, what are your top three techniques to try and snap out of it when you're feeling anxious? Okay, so my anxiety tends to happen in the mornings. When I first get up, that's where it hits me. So I try and shift my focus straight away. I try and practice gratitude but rather than just thinking oh I'm grateful that I woke up I think right I'm grateful that I'm breathing I'm grateful that I can see I'm grateful that I'm in a bed I'm grateful that I've got clean bedding I'm grateful that I've got a change of bedding like I try and list as many things just to try and bring that positivity into my life or I completely distract myself by listening to a podcast something really motivating like get rich lucky b-i-t-c-h like badass empowering powerful women but yeah I'll do some self-care like put a face mask on drink loads of water cook a healthy meal um, I try not to engage in things like drinking alcohol or eating a load of stuff that's going to make me feel not guilty afterwards but feel sluggish afterwards like you know sometimes when you feel rubbish you just want to eat like a bag of chocolates and then after that you feel sluggish like physically so I yeah just try and eat something healthy or I'll call a friend I've got kind of a select few go-to friends that I will call if I'm my mind's racing and my anxiety centers around worrying about the future and reliving the past so it'll always be like what if this happens and then this happens and then this happens and I I know I've got a select few people that can say to me Jess 
this hasn't even happened yet so there's no way that's gonna happen or that's gonna happen and yeah it's good to have that and that would be my main tips so yeah those are the questions I feel like there was a definite theme <laughs> co-parenting dating and stuff like that but yeah unfortunately there's not nothing exciting or juicy going on there I'm just I'm at a point now where I'm just so content and happy and I still get moments like this morning I did wake up with a bit like like my mind was racing and I felt a little bit low but I I'm getting better at getting myself out of it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to those of you who asked questions and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I like doing a Q&A, I enjoy it. So I might try and do one like, maybe not once a month, but more frequently than I have been. So yeah, please do give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you next time. Bye.